muffins today so I've just got the ingredients ready so that it's easier just to put everything together but they're the six ingredient muffins from Dr. Bowl on Instagram I love the recipe because it's just really easy to add stuff to so it just uses bananas the browner the better and peanut butter, maple syrup, flour, baking powder, and bicarbonate of soda. Bless you, Bobbin. But today I'm using some sultanas as well, and in here I've got some peanut butter and some cashew butter because I had two pots to use up. And I've put in a bit of vanilla extract as well, just to add a nice little bit of vanilla -y flavor. So yes. We enjoy making these ones together because you get to mash the bananas and then stir in all of the other ingredients and taste them as you go. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. Now, I really need to find my tripod because it would make it so much easier to keep propping you up places. At the moment, you're on a jar of flour, the lid of another jar, still not quite the right height. So I got an apple strudel tea bag in my advent calendar this morning. I had spiced clementine in my advent calendar yesterday. I really expected to like that, but I didn't like it. I think it was too, too clovey. Yeah, I wasn't keen on that one. Hopefully I like this one more. calendar from mum last year. Right, so I better go and get a baby so that we can make these lovely muffins. I've been working on my hexi flowers from Tracy and I love them. So I've got two so far. They're so pretty. And today's I've already shown you is the yellow with little purple flowers with purple for the middle. And I've been having a think about what I'm going to do with them. And I do want it to be sort of like the hexi quilt that mum made me but instead of doing a hexagon sandwich so just the hexagons together probably explaining this brilliantly I've decided I'm gonna sew these together 
to make little flower pockets. Stuff them with a little bit of fibre fill and have a nice puffy quilt like that. I've been having a look through one of my books. I'll go and get it, hang on. It's this book, Forgotten Ways for Modern Days. And I got this after seeing it on Gaynor's podcast or one of her vlogs, Tales from Cuckoo Land, ages ago. It's such a sweet book. But there's a quilt in here. Ah, it's a Bits and Bobs Eider Down. And it's just lovely. So you sew little squares and then you stuff them and sew them together. And I really fancied making this. It's my sort of thing at the moment because it's completely modular. And I like that. The thought of making a quilt top, having to baste it, quilt it, just is not in my life right now. So I really liked this idea of just making the modular pieces, sewing them together. And it just sounds puffy and cosy. And so this is sort of going to be the same thing, isn't it? It's similar to the quilt that my mum made. And I think these just little puffy flowers will be really fun. Mum was saying that for the layout to work um, and not just be really jaggedy at one edge. I can't quite remember what she was saying, but it made sense. Um, but for that to work, I'd need to have a few plain hexagons um, at strategic points. Maybe I'll do a sketch of how this will work. What are you doing, baby? You playing with your people? But um, I'll have to make some plain hexagons and dot those in. I was thinking of doing a sort of, like the colour of my Down Sheepy Lane advent calendar. Just this nice craft or tea stain sort of colour. Wow, that was a close up, wasn't it? Sorry about that. But I thought that would be quite nice as well because you'll get the puffy flowers that won't have any sort of sewing on them. It's just gonna be the flower. And then you'll get the smaller little puffy hexagons. I thought that might look quite nice. I'm really enthusiastic about this. I think it will be lovely. I remember while mum was making that quilt with the hexagons, she's made one for herself as well, that she used all scrap fabrics with. And I remember while she was making it, it was so lovely because she would just have this basket of these little puffy, like with hexapuffs, just this basket of little puffy, squishy things. And it just looked so cozy and inviting, so. I'm excited to start gathering my own collection of puffy things. You are right, baby? So yes, that's my plan and I'm going to work through the ones from Tracy first, so that will give me 12 flowers and then start adding some more when I finish those. And I'd really like to not be too selective about where which patterns go next to each other. I wonder if I'll be able to do that. But I'd like to start putting it together really soon, just to see that it'll work and see what it'll look like. But I love these two, so I think these two are gonna have to go on the front. But then I don't want a more favorite side and a less favorite side. So it's really tough to know what to do when you overthink like I do. You all right there, baby? So I've got my little bag together, although this isn't the bag that I think is right for this project. I think I need some sort of little box or something, or a basket, I don't know. But in here I've got my glue, because I'm using glue to stick the fabric around the edges to the paper, because time-wise that is what I can currently cope with. I've got my little sewing case. Mum made me this, it's a photo of me and David. 10 years ago, oh my goodness. Where does the time go? But it's lovely, it's got her embroidery on the back. A little pocket in the back. And, oh, someone's jumping on the sofa. And two leaves inside, pictures. And I'm using this thread. It's 
called the bottom line and it's just invisible and really strong so it's really good for English paper piecing apparently then some nice scissors and some pins for when it gets to the stage that I need to cut out my own fabric which I'm not looking forward to I must say I was talking to mum about it and one of the things that she loves is cutting out the fabric and cutting out the paper and getting all the prep work together and it being a much more slow process and I'm just not that's not my favourite part at the moment mine is sewing it together and then the prospect of sewing those together I think that'll make such a like fluffy little puffy pillow I really hope it works but yes that's my plan and I got this colour in with my damn sheepy lane me advent calendar so I've got these three so far they're so lovely such beautiful colours and the yarn's lovely and soft and I really am torn of what to do this one got put in my coconut water this morning so it's a little bit damp <laughs> I might put it in a skein it's one of his favourite things to do is put stuff in water so his little toys frequently get put in water I've got a little bluetooth speaker that got put in a glass of water <laughs> miraculously it still works so that's nice but yeah that yarn got put in a glass of water this morning um but yeah I don't know what to do with these yet because I sort of think I could put them in socks and that would be lovely but then I'm thinking I wonder about a little crochet blanket for some of his dolls that might be quite nice and 12 uh, 24 little granny squares or something would make quite a nice size for his doll so I'm very very torn so I'm gonna leave it and percolate on it for a little bit longer and then see what see what comes to me all right baby I think he wants to play with mummy now so I will see you again soon Room on the broom in the background, we're just listening to the story tape. But I thought I'd show you this. So 
I started sewing together my hexagons and then I have decided that what I'm going to do is sew them together like a little pillow. I can't remember if I already told you this, but sew them together like a little pillow. And then, I think I did actually, but I've actually sewn one together now. So yeah, flower on each side. There's a bit of stuffing in. I didn't put loads in. And I don't know if it will bunch to one side and I'll have to put in some stitches to keep it in place or not, I'm not sure. And then, I'm just going to do a bunch of flowers with some little plain hexagons dotted in here and there. But, um, it's extremely time consuming. Everyone knows this. <laughs> I can believe how long it actually took me to put this flower together. So this is going to be a very, very long term project, I think. <laughs> but I really love it and I just imagine it's going to be so cosy. I might even put a tiny bit less. Oh no, I don't think I will put less polyfill in next time. I'll show you the filler that I've got. I'm going to have some of Daddy's cereal. Um, so I got this filler. It's recycled bottles, so I thought that would be good to try. Yeah, and I used the tiniest the amount in in the flower. It must have been like that much. I wanted to use um, poly filler. Oh, 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 oh. That's not the right word, is it? That's the word. That's the stuff that you fill holes with. Is that right, poly filler? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is polyester craft filling, but I used polyester because I wanted it to be really easy to wash. Um, that's what my hexagon one is filled with from mum and it just washes so easily and really fluffs back up when you put it in the washing machine. So yeah, I'm very excited about them. But also a bit trepidatious about how long they're gonna take. having a walk and we've just stopped at the community centre because he loves this big bit of grass. There's a little community centre and just over there is where we used to live. In the, in the little cottage that I first started filming in. Yes baby? Oh okay. today so I thought I would make some biscuits instead <laughs> some cookies I found saw a recipe I think they're called chocolate crinkle cookies now did I save the recipe is yeah for well, Nora cooks so what do we need for this sugar coconut oil flax seeds milk vanilla flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, salt, and then some icing sugar to roll to roll them in. I've not made these before, but they look quite simple. Although, I don't know if I'll give baby these because they've got loads of sugar in. Hmm. But he's still got cakes left over that we made the other day, so that would be okay. Um, I need to find some bread so that we can have bacon sandwiches or fish finger sandwiches tomorrow. So we've got these fish fingers to try. Squeaky bean tasty fishless fingers. Um, I used to love fish fingers when I had meat. So yeah, we're gonna try these. Or maybe the bacon. 
instead. And this is the bacon we have. This isn't bacon, it's really tasty. So, yeah. ready for that tomorrow but I just don't know what to do for lunch ah. I um, was feeling so un so inspired with cooking but I think now it's to the end of the year and hasn't this year just been so exhausting mentally um, I just lost all of my inspiration for what to cook so I have no idea I'll just get on with these couple of things and then hope that inspiration strikes roast some peanuts for the sauce and it's cauliflower satay sauce it's a recipe from I don't know a Vitamix email but it's really yummy um, it's just got soy sauce they use vegan fish sauce but I don't have any of that so we won't use that water lemon juice peanut butter steamed cauliflower garlic curry powder coconut sugar and roasted peanuts it's so yummy and I'll make just a peanut sauce with um, for little ones because uh, I won't put so uh, soy sauce in his. But yeah, so I'm gonna get cooking. And now I'm inspired, the cookies are gonna have to wait. I like this tofu because it's organic, long life, which is good for someone who doesn't plan meals. Um, and I really like the jars. It's a really good size, so um, I always save them to do something with. I watch a few like cooking, I follow a few cooking people on Instagram. And I always have to sort of stop myself when I start cooking because I'm so used to watching them like cooking sped up because they speed up their videos. I probably will speed this up actually. <laughs> I'm so used to watching people cook like that, I suddenly think I have to cook that fast. So I have to remind myself every so often, slow down. They slow up, they speed it up after the fact. They, they're not just that fast. Hello. It's 
it's much later now we had lunch I didn't get around to the cookies I didn't show you what lunch looked like because honestly it's the most unattractive meal but it's really tasty um, bread came out fine so that'd be nice for our sandwiches whichever ones we have I just thought I'd sit down and have a little bit of a knit on my boxy I don't think let me just pop you here I don't think it's grown a great deal since I showed it to you last um, I've just been working on it here and there it looks so green in this light what I can see from the camera it's not actually that green it's much more mustardy but yeah I'm just gonna have a little knit on that and that's it for today I think so I will see you tomorrow